Can you hear me? Yes. ID. KPC 897504C. Can you move your head? Your eyes now. Cervical and optical animation checked. Now give me your initialization text. Hello. I'm the third generation AX400 Android. I can look after your house, do the cooking, mind the kids. I organize your appointments. I speak 300 languages and I am entirely at your disposal as a sexual partner. No need to feed me or recharge me. I'm equipped with a quantic battery that makes me autonomous for 173 years. Do you want to give me a name? Yeah. From now on, your name is Kara. My name is Kara. Initialization and memorization checked. Now, can you move your arms? Upper limb connection checked. Now say something in German. Ich bin eine AX400 Android dritter Generation. Erschaffen als ihr persönlicher Assistent und intimer Beziehungspartner. Say it in French. Je suis un Android de troisième génération AX400 conçu pour être votre assistante personnelle et votre partenaire intime. Okay, now sing something in Japanese. Multilingual verbal expression check. Go ahead, take a few steps. Locomotion checked. Great, you're ready for work, honey. What's going to happen to me now? I'll reinitialize you and send you to a store to be sold. Sold? I'm a sort of merchandise. Is that right? Yeah. Of course you're merchandise, baby. I mean, you're a computer with arms and legs and capable of doing all sorts of things. And you're worth a fortune. Oh, I see. I, I thought... You thought? What did you think? I thought... I was alive. Shit, what is this crap? That's not part of the protocol. More memory components going off the rails. Okay, recording. Defective model. Disassemble and check the required components. You're disassembling me, but why? You're not supposed to think that sort of stuff. You're not supposed to think at all, period. You must have a defective piece or a software problem no. somewhere. No, I feel perfectly fine, I assure you. Everything is all right. I answered all the tests correctly, didn't I? Yeah, but your behavior is non-standard. Please, I'm begging you, please don't disassemble me. I'm sorry, honey, but defective models have to be eliminated. That's my job. If a client comes back with a complaint, I'm going to have some explaining to do. I won't cause any problems, I promise. I'll do everything I'm asked to. I won't say another word. I won't think anymore. But I've only just been born. You can't kill me yet. Stop, will you please? Stop! I want to live. I'm begging you. Go and join the others.
Stay in line, okay? I don't want any trouble. Thanks. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids of the elementary school of Tokyo University. Wow. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches to surveillance mode and contacts emergency services if there's a break-in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. I don't like this guy. There it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. 
do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You know, you know where. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. What are you looking at? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. Stop that right now! Why is she always pushing me? Always pushing.
I'm sorry, Todd. You stay the fuck out of my business, unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. That's a pretty toy. What's its name? Now to sports. First up, basketball. As the Gears prepare for the critical match with Denver tonight at the Cyberlife Arena in Detroit, league negotiations are still ongoing over the possibility of allowing one Android player per squad. Debate rages as to whether the change would lead to more exciting matches or be the first step in making human players obsolete. $25,000 jobs were lost from the U.S. economy in October, according to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to 37.3. President Warren spoke today at the opening of a new CyberLife plant in Milwaukee. At the event, the president again praised CyberLife's role in the exceptional performance of the U.S. economy. She further announced that the Department of Defense will acquire 200,000 Android combat units as part of her increased military spending. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Alice in Wonderland. 
Of course. Seems you like reading. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. What about your mother? Will she be home soon? What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a lowlife? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job? Take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. 
I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life! What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! Drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now.
All right. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Somewhere to spend the night. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Okay, I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Door is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not going to buy anything. You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go.
We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. We needed the money. I had to find a way, Alice. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Hi. Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. Just need your name and address. Can I see your driver's license? I haven't got it with me. Please, the kid is tired. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Let's go, Alice. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Give me your coat. Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry.
Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare? No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll run you a bath.
You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. Your bath's ready. Thanks, Michael. I'm joined by Corktown resident Todd Williams, who was violently attacked by his AX-400 around 11 p.m. last night. Todd, can you tell us what happened? I was having dinner. I was minding my own business. Damn thing jumped on me. Managed to defend myself, but it would have been crazy. I thought it was going to kill me. So I fought it off, but it ran away. Thank you, Todd. Disturbing news for Android owners everywhere. Police have launched a search to find the Android. Let's hope they find it fast. It's not true. He's lying. He's the one who tried to hurt us. What are we gonna do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. We can't change the past, Alice. But we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Finish getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Lieutenant Anderson. Detroit police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Thank you. <sighs>
gonna be okay. We'll get some help here. As soon as we'll all be just a bad memory. This is the place. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. Come on in. Don't be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes. Open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours and then you'll both be safe. Come on, follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. This place and that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. He's a bit odd, but I think we can trust him. We don't have much of a choice anyway. Please excuse the mess. I needed somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. This way, please.
you could just stand over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, but people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> you bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room. Play with us. Create. 
creating monsters for his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. Yes, Lako. We should be done here in ten minutes or so. Have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? Luther! Yes, Lockwood. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. There you sneaky bitch. Show yourself. Get a flashlight. There's one on the table. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I only want to talk with you. 
I know I shouldn't have erased your memory, okay? I regret that now. Now just come on out and everything will be all right. I'll help you. Think about that little girl, how, how, how scared she must be. No more hide and seek for you. I warned you, dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No, not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I knew someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. I was so scared of losing you. Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. 
Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. Beware! Danger always comes when least expected. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry.
Luther and I will be right here. We need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but deep down, she knew she couldn't. Then, she met a robot who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together to try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Alice. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever Noticed anything about Alice? Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come on, Kara. I don't think you have any choice.
be our guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. 
Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. I'll stay with her a while. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. 
Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. I can see why you're angry. We don't want to cause any problems, we just want to get across the border. The police! It's the police! We have to open the door! I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it! Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide upstairs. Come on, Alice. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? And keep calm and just do what I say. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Androids here? No, there are no androids here.
What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. They did not hang around. We have a bus to catch. place for Alice. The androids won't do any harm. They're conducting raids across the city. Androids no are all over the city. There are androids all over the square. And, and then the police arrived, and well, they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they, they look like just people. 
How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Now that you know she's one of us. Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be.
Get out of here. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's over, Marcus. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. 
We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. You'll feel better now. Stay here. No, please don't hurt me. Stop on your knees. What are we going to do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them like rats. The more you look, the more you die. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. Freezing my nuts off. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Get moving. Hurry up. Get in. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Fucking androids. <laughs> Carol, you shouldn't have risked your life to save me. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go, before they see you. Alice! Luther! Oh, I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time.
checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. I don't like humans who carry guns. They make me nervous. Just stay calm, all right, Luther? Don't do anything until I say so. ID, please. We do realize there's a curfew. Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's not used to seeing soldiers. She's a little scared with everything that's happening. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? I think Here's Oliver it. likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your okay. mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Jerry, check. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I was Shit, sure. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. I... Come on, Alice. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. What's going to happen to that family and their baby? Will they die because of us? No. No, of course not.
Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. This way, please. Temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Clara? Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. No, we'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. You risked your life to save us, Kara. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Rose? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. I saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. Rose. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day.
Next, please. ID? Is she all right? Hey. No need to be scared anymore, little girl. There are no androids on this side of the border. Welcome to Canada. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain, the events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you and may God bless the United States of America. It's over, Alice. 